Well, would you look at that? I'm holding the phone the right way for you guys, all right? I've been getting a lot of static because, you know, of me holding the phone the wrong way. But honestly, like, I'm so focused on my message and, and, and basically what I'm trying to show people that something like that is, like, completely irrelevant to me. Like, I made it... <laughs> It's kind of funny because I made it past 2,000 subscribers, uh, almost 300,000 views, 1.4 million minutes of watch time on my channel. Shout out to my gang. And I did that all holding the phone the wrong way. That filtered out the, the uh, basic, simple, one-track minded people that can't focus on in-depth detail versus something so simple on a surface as how I'm holding the phone, how they're viewing a video that has nothing really to do with the visual <laughs> side of things. It was more the the message, right? But anyways, other than that, um, I got a, a video to show you guys uh, because I made a video talking about the government shutdown and stuff like that. And people are like, oh, the government's back open again. You're stupid. Do I really have to come over here and school these little fucking dumbass motherfuckers? Listen. Um, basically, this is, this is what it is, okay? I can't believe people are so stupid, man. Anyways, um, so the government reopening was just for a temporary period of time. Uh, to, re to relieve some tension, basically, uh, for people to get their their back pays and their government checks and all this shit. That's what, you know, Donald Trump's claiming, but in reality, it's going to shut back down again. And listen, man, this, this, this whole thing is an act. It's a, it, it's a play, okay? So, I'm going to predict the outcome of this, okay? Donald Trump is going to declare a state of emergency, okay? It's quite clear, right? But I knew this, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, I was saying this shit 10 years ago. I said the government would shut down. I said, man, I called all this shit, bro. Like, this is crazy. The state of emergency, okay, so I, okay, so this is what I'm predicting, okay? This is nuts. I've been saying this for years that this was going to happen, okay? This this is exactly what's going to happen. He's going to declare a state of emergency. Everybody's going to panic and freak out. It's going to cause the people to uprise against the system. And therefore, they can now take the next step towards enslaving the people, taking the rights away completely and saying that we are a threat to the president and to the government and to the, the infrastructure because we're freaking out that we realize what they're doing. The, the, the state of emergency is nothing but another step towards the agenda that they were already going to do in order to create the people to, to uprise naturally because people are starving, people that rely on, on uh, food, food stamps, people that, you know, even the government's, government workers are being betrayed. Like, the country has fucking been betraying their own fucking people since the beginning they've ever fucking existed, since America's existed. Not only their own people, but every other country that doesn't bow down to it, you know what I mean? Gets, be gets betrayed, framed, and fucking smashed and robbed for their fucking resources, you know what I mean? So, this is all, I already knew all this was gonna happen. He's talking about the wall, the wall, this and this and that, man, listen. It was just a pawn to fucking, for the state of emergency, for them to declare the st a state of emergency, because that's going to cause everyone to become chaotic. The people have had enough, so the whole world is going to fucking snap. The whole country is going to snap. Government workers have already been betrayed. People are dying, starving, fucking people are being deported that have served the country for 10, 20 years as, as a... Uh, U.S. military or like you know Navy SEAL or whatever, and then they get shipped back out to Mexico and killed by the cartel out there.
because they basically betrayed to them, betrayed their country and went to America. You don't realize that this shit is happening. Families are being separated. People are being killed. People are starving. People are, are, are becoming homeless. Like, bro, <laughs> like, and this is all by design. I said this was going to happen 10 years ago. This is just birth pains of this shit, bro. You know what I mean? So take this in. The state of emergency is coming, okay? And therefore, that's going to create chaos amongst the people. And they're going to rise up. And when the people rise up, that is when the system comes in. Says you are all a threat to the establishment. Every American citizen is a threat. And we're pushing for a one world government, new world order, and this is not what it looks like. We need full control. The world needs to be reset and reprogrammed and restructuralized by force because it can't, they are trying to say that it can't be done unless they basically snatch all our freedoms away, enslave us, and then spank us, and then correct us and say, this is how life is going to go from now on, and you're going to are taking it or you're going to be imprisoned as a terrorist or even possibly executed if you're a Christian stuff like that if you don't take the mark of the beast and give into the satanic system so anyways um, this shit is real this is exactly what's going to happen this is my prediction everyone they're going to do the state of emergency everyone's going to go chaotic there's going to be all types of chaos then the military is going to come in that all the rights and all the freedoms will be taken away because it's a state of emergency. No, you're no longer operating under the, the the first, second, third, fourth, or whatever amendment doesn't exist anymore. Your freedoms are fucking gone. It's over. Now, it, 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 you know, it's, the country can do that. You know what I mean? They can basically say the the country's out of control and we have to basically imprison every everybody. We have to lock everything down shut down the border put the wall there to basically keep you in not keep shit out that's that's the disguise but there's a lot of there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes that i've watched unfold for the last 10 years so once they do that they're going to force everybody to go to these to the fema camps and i'm telling you right now that is when your reality is going to be turned upside down everything that you thought was reality is going to turn into non-reality into a fucking nightmare because you're going to realize you don't have any freedoms you're a slave all your rights have been taken away and you've been betrayed by your own country and you're going to be like it's too late when you figure it out you're fucked now you're trapped in a FEMA camp you can't get out once you get in and you check in for your own security and safety and for the, uh, the state of emergency for the fucking country you can't get out they're going to be poisoning you they're going to be executing people in some of these FEMA camps. They already are. They're literally be. I'm telling you, this, this shit seems far-fetched. But there has been people inside of the FEMA camps to fucking betray the system. Just like Snowden did. He worked for the government and that snitched them out. He was like, look at what the fuck they're doing. Same thing with the FEMA camps. People can't deal with that reality knowing that people are being fucking slaughtered for not giving in to this one world government fucking satanic cult fucking new world order and that's what these FEMA camps are to enforce on you once your rights are gone you go it, but it's for protection it's for food it's for safety a state of a fucking emergency bro the FEMA camps have been sitting there waiting for the last fucking 10 years they've been building up even in Canada because a one world government's gonna control the whole fucking world under one ruling so when they do that they shut everything down it's going to be for the whole shit not just the states okay and there's fema camps in canada too there's fema coffins by the thousands that fit three bodies in them per per fucking coffin in canada not to mention there's fucking 300 400 500 thousand not to mention in the states okay so they've been preparing for this to give this state of emergency so you guys freak out when you freak out you become a threat to the establishment therefore you're a terrorist now because of the state of emergency they can lock everybody down and take take their their freedoms away put you in the fema camps and you're going to be there's there's three things you're either going to be uh, destroyed eliminated because you're not you're not going to um, 
be beneficial to this one world government, new world order. You're not agreeing to this, so therefore you are uh, like a cockroach to them. So they have to exterminate you because this is the new world order. It has to be reset. They want to wipe everybody out and start over again for the state of control and over the world. I know that sounds crazy, but this is really what's happening, bro. This is biblical. The Bible even predicted this shit. I read this that all this was going to happen like 10 years ago, bro. I've been saying this. So I'm going to make this official prediction. State of emergency. Chaos. Rights gone completely now. All rights. There's no amendments. Therefore, you will be enslaved. FEMA camps. You're going to go to FEMA camps. And they're going to say that you need to to survive for resources, food, water, medicine, all that shit. Because everything is going to be closed down, the markets, the food, you will not be able to buy, trade, or sell without the chip. And then that's going to get put into place once everybody's in the FEMA camps and you get filtered out. It's the people that are Christians that are going to be beheaded and killed and slaughtered because they will not, they will not betray Jesus and say, yeah, okay, I don't want to die. Let me be a part of the new world order. I'll do whatever you guys want. Program me. Hit me with a chip. Put me in a system and I'll be a good little slave. No, we're going to say no. And they're going to say, well, you cannot exist in this this program that we have. You, 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 you're going to have to be removed, eliminated. In Jesus' name. And you, peop, real, a real, you know, real Christians will die for that. They'll say, okay. You know? And they're going to do it. Bro, I'm telling you, there's guillotines inside of these fucking Walmarts that they closed down and are rebuilding on the inside. Creating them as like FEMA camps, but imprisonment camps. The barbed wire fence goes like this from the inside. It keeps you trapped inside. It's not for people to get in from the outside. It's to keep you trapped from the inside. You can't get out. There's videos. I watched all the videos. I've seen what they're doing to the, to the Walmarts. I've seen what they're doing at the FEMA camps. People have said that they were working there. They ran away in fear because they're literally guillotining people. They're killed. They're slaughtering people. They're saying, are you going to be a part of the New World Order? Or are you going to stay a Christian? Are you going to, you know, da da da. You're either programmable or you're not. And you will be terminated if you're not enslavable to this to this new world order one one world government okay bro this is real this is really happening okay i don't know how much longer it's going to take until people realize it obviously it's going to be too late it is already too late you can't get out of the country now like what do you like bro you guys you might have one chance right now to get out of, of babylon this is your last chance to get out. I'm serious. To all my people out in the States, this is your last fucking chance to escape Babylon. Bro, I think it even said in the in the Bible, Woe to those who have children in these days, for there will be great suffering. Do you understand that? That means like you're stuck wherever you are because you have kids. How are you going to flee Babylon? You can't even get across the border. You're not to mention your kid don't have a passport. You're going to face... The wrath of Babylon. If you're trapped in these places, or not necessarily, like it even said in the, in the Bible that my people will f come up out of her and flee Babylon. So if you can't get out, like of the of the states, America, at least get out into the forest, into the mountains, and create a lifestyle, build an ecosystem, garden produce your own food. Food grows from the ground, bro. Water flows from the earth. There is no such thing as a fucking market or buying food from a government distributed source. That is a fucking illusion. Food grows from the ground. It doesn't cost money. You can grow your own food. That's the way we should have always been from day one. The first thing they should have taught us in school was how to fucking grow food and, 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 and harvest the land. That should have been the first trade as a human being. Are you fucking dumb? You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's why I'm fucking gone, bro. I have, I'm fucking gone. I already have the whole place. That's why, why do you think I went out west for all that time? 
I, I let myself be poverty struck to, to learn how to be content with zero, with nothing, so I could live off the land in, in a natural element, in, in a natural place, in a vast forest. And now that I did that for four or five years, I know where to go to, to at least escape this shit for a certain period of time. And I know the Bible said, the one who tries to save his life will lose his life, but that's not what that means. That means if you think you're gonna defeat death and you're gonna bypass God and judgment and you're gonna live forever because, you know, Anunnaki told you, you know, told you that you can consume monoatomic gold and you can live forever. You know what I mean? That's what it means. If you think you're gonna escape Earth and go into a black hole in outer space and then, you know, somehow slow down aging, you're gonna be crushed of existence. Like, if you keep trying to get out, but like bypass God and in your faith from what sin has done, you're gonna lose your life. It doesn't mean for you to not flee into the mountains and, and, and escape Babylon and escape the cities. It tells you to leave the cities, get out of the cities. Jesus was always leaving the cities. He was always going in and out, in and out. And he was like, you know, going back to the forest, back to the desert, all that shit for a reason. Okay? So listen. I got a video to show you guys, okay? I got a video to show you guys. And you're going to see exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. It's coming, the state of emergency, the chaos, the FEMA, the FEMA camps, people, there's already two, like two, 200,000, 300,000 homeless people went missing off of, just missing. I forget where that was, somewhere near Texas or something, all over the world. It's, but nobody's talking about it. And FEMA and the military came and took all the, it became illegal to be homeless. In certain states, it became illegal to be homeless. So they, and the, the, the shelters are full, so they took them to the fucking FEMA camps. They got, they got FEMA boats, they got FEMA fucking camp, they got FEMA fucking everything. They took, bro, these homeless people disappeared, and one of the homeless people escaped, and one of the people that worked for FEMA escaped, and said that they're killing people in it. Bro, these are people that worked in the FEMA facility. This is somebody that, a homeless person that was supposed to be getting put in there just kind of seeing what was happening and fucking jetted, took off the other leg. Whatever the fuck he did. Bro, this is my prediction right now. When all this shit happens in the next little while, I'm telling you, man, this is not good. And you know another thing is? Money's not going to exist anymore, bro. The banks are going to be shut down. Your money is going to be locked in. Get your shit out of the bank. Buy gold, silver, all that shit. I know it seems like fear mongering, but it's now it's that time. I listened to people go like that for 10 years to see and all that shit, but they were fucking right, you know? You know? Now it's that time. The dollar is going to collapse. It already is, doesn't even exist. America's in debt fucking trillions and trillions of dollars, bro. And your money is, doesn't exist. It's a bunch of zeros and ones. It's fucking printed. They made it up, bro. You're fucked over. Real talk. Okay? So, y'all need to get the fuck out of there and realize that the only true way of life is to live off the land and provide for yourself and harvest the land. That's the way it was meant to be. And if you depend on government or fucking, you know, a civilization or city or Babylon, you're gonna fucking die and you're gonna feel the wrath because it's a trap. Now you know. All the people that work for the government, all the military, all the soldiers, all the veterans that have been betrayed by their fucking country. Yeah, okay. You guys get it now? Okay. You starting to really see it now? You got like two minutes left, bro, to get the fuck out of there before you become a fucking slave and trapped. You will not escape. You will face a fucking terrible rap. It's coming anyways, but Big beast, I would rather get hit last. I'm way out in the fucking bush surviving, you know, being health, like as healthy as you can be. Even know that they got, you know, satellite, all this technology that they can they can find you. You know, the, the, the chemtrails that they hit out in the, you know, but still, you have a lot of a better 
it still is logical to go to the fucking to the forest, bro. Don't matter. What are you gonna do? Just like, bro. I'm telling you, it's even biblical. The Bible even says to do this. That's why I felt driven to do what I did. I grew up in the city, man. I don't know nothing about the fucking. Why would I go to the forest? You stupid. I would laugh at somebody if they said, "Get the fuck out of my face." You know what I mean? I God put this wisdom and knowledge in my mind, man. He elevated me and showed me the truth, and I'm grateful. I'm blessed. You know, and I have to warn my people, man. You know. So, what does this mean? The dollar's gonna collapse, dude. Your money's gonna get trapped in the bank. I'm not gonna be able to make no money off YouTube. Everything comes from the states. I'm not gonna be able to, you know. This whole shit's gonna crash before I can even fucking leverage the internet to even make enough money where I can go buy land and, and a fucking property and solar panels and all that shit. Like, it's, I'm already fucked. I'm already fucked. Like, it's too late for me. Unless, miraculously, my shit goes viral and I reach millions of views. If I got four million views on one of my videos, that would result in about seven to ten thousand dollars in ad revenue. With that seven to ten thousand dollars, I can take that, and I know how to flip that in twenty different ways. Most of them being legal, you know what I mean. But in a dash for my life to get more money, I could take that ten grand and turn that to a hundred grand, two hundred grand, three hundred grand. Depends on how much time I have left before the fucking dollar collapses and the bank shut down and fucking rob everybody, and that's it. I have to get my chunk before all that shit shuts down so I can get my land, my fucking house, the solar panels, all that shit, build an ecosystem, ecosystem outside, you know what I mean? Or, I'm still gonna survive, but it's not gonna be pretty, it's gonna be fucking nasty, you know what I mean? But it's gonna be a lot less nasty than fucking going to a FEMA camp and being forced injections and fucking programming and fucking, you know, saying if you don't take on a new religion or this satanic way of being this one world government new world order which means satan's order then you'll be eliminated because you do not serve this new world order and the purpose of this new world order is a new control a new order which means if you do not abide by this new order there's no more old way of being imprisoned and rights and, and, and freedoms and all that shit that was the old way this is the new world order do you understand? The old way is gone. And you will be fucking mind. It'll be too late when you realize that. That's what I'm trying to say. Man. This shit is happening. I gotta let you guys see this fucking video before this shit gets too long. But I had to say this shit, man. And, uh, I'm already making plans to get back out to the bush this summer. And, uh, I'm gonna go ham. I'm going fucking crazy with YouTube. And I'm going to try and get the most that I can out of it um, for the right reason. So I can get land, so I can get, you know, um, a ha you know, have a cabin or a house built. All I need is a cabin with solar panels, a well, you know, a lake nearby where I can fish, you know, lots of fruit and stuff like that. I can grow a garden. I can harvest anything that I need as for food, you know. All you need is shelter, food, and water in reality. See, this is going to be devastating for 98% of the fucking world's population because 98% of the world's population cannot fucking live without civilization. They have never been trained to survive outside of government or civilization or a system. You couldn't just go to the forest and survive. You'd fucking die. You, would have, you don't have the skills. That's why I'm sitting here learning every day, 20 fucking hours a day, not even sleeping. Learning how to fucking um, primitive technology, learning how to garden, learning how to, you know, um, everything to do with, uh, you know, um, agriculture, like, you know what I mean? Living off the land, uh, you know, all that shit. How to grow your own food, all that shit. I'm learning, that's all I care about right now because that's what I'm preparing for. Like, before I get fucked over and I don't have a chance and I can't live and then I have to go to a FEMA camp to survive because I can't grow my own food and I don't know where to go or what to do. You know what I'm saying? This shit is really happening.
time is fucking massively limited. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do when the state of emergency starts in like three weeks to a fucking month, and then everything's locked down and shut down, and they're already shutting the borders down, shutting everything down. FEMA camps are already fucking importing and export, like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, like, yeah. Share this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Tag fucking as many people as you can, even if it seems fucking belligerent and ignorant thing to do, or annoying, or I don't know, who gives a fuck, you have to get the message out, it's not about that anymore, you know, can't be quiet no more, can't be nice about this shit no more, it's gotta go, it's gotta happen, we gotta get this shit out there, so, I have a limited amount of time to utilize this platform, to try to get as much as I can from it, to prepare for what is coming, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, I made like four or five hundred dollars off this channel so far, since I got monetized at a thousand subscribers, which was months ago, you know, it's, I haven't made anything yet, you know what I mean, like, but like I said, if I can reach the masses with my message, I can make, if I can reach a million people, I can make a million dollars, I already know that. I make money online in several different ways. If I had the traffic and the masses and the support behind me, I would be able to do things much greater than myself, you know, like bigger than myself. And that's what I plan on doing because it's, it's, I'm not going to be able to, to make this come true, my vision to escape this you know, from working a fucking nine to five, that's a part of the, the slave system, it's not gonna work like that, this has to happen, and this was God, this was God's doing in my life to become this person that's making this video right now, like, because it was gonna lead to that one day, where I have the masses, and I'm making a large amount of money off truth, by just doing what I'm doing, and there's nothing wrong with that, there's nothing wrong with that, um, time is limited and I'm, I'm preparing now and uh, I need to reach the masses before they shut me down off this platform before the dollar collapses and I, I can know I don't you know I don't have no resource to escape this shit I'm still gonna go to the bush I'll find an orchard I'll live right in that motherfucker and be eating that shit I'll be surviving you know I'll get seeds, I'll grow a little garden, even if it's not my land, I don't care, like, I'm gonna, you know, it's gotta happen, I'll find other people that are already doing it, and I'll work for them, I'll work, harvest the land, work at their farm, whatever, you know, I'll survive, but a lot of people won't, and it says that in the Bible, like, most people are not gonna make it. So anyways, um, I just wanted to make that message. Please share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, comment your thoughts. Commenting is good because the more people that comment and the more people that do thumbs up and obviously subscribe, YouTube sees that activity and they start releasing it to more and more people. So they'll start suggesting this video. And uh, if that continues, it'll go and it'll go and it'll keep going. You know what I mean? And uh, if I put ads on my videos, which I do now, you know, every, you don't get paid a lot. But like I said, like, it can add up. If something goes viral, the rest of my videos are going to go pretty much viral too. Because that whole mass of like a million people that seen this video are going to say, wow, I want to see what else this kid has to say. And they're going to shift into the rest of my videos. And that's going to convert into a lot of monetization, a lot of ad sense money, you know. And plus, people will become a Patreon you know, donate, stuff like that, because they see what I'm trying to do, and it's not just for me, I'm going to go and build a community for people, I'm going to be pulling people out of the city, like that, bringing them to this place, teaching them how to live off the land, and building a fucking community and an ecosystem, and I'm not worried about having infiltrators, or, or fucking people threatening my way of life, because I'll fuck them up, <laughs> like, if I have to, you know what I'm saying, it's not, it's going to be, it's going to be okay, and it's not going to go down like that, you know, not, not to me anyways, not for me, 
um, I'm not weak. You know what I'm saying? I'm a warrior. My last name means warrior in German. So, you know, I'm a protector of the innocent and I'm, I'm a protector and, and of the truth. And that's it. That's what it really is, man. So, I don't even sleep without that. I'm telling you, man. It's real. That is the reason why I have this ability, this knowledge and wisdom. So anyways, you gotta watch this video. Like I said, become a Patreon if you can support this, this mission that I have. Uh, whatever you can do to, to help contribute, share, share this in a bunch of relevant groups. Do whatever you can, man. If, if you can, you know. I'm doing everything I can from my side. And, and, you know, if you have any questions, like I said, comment. Let's come together, man, and let's make something amazing happen, you know. Um, that's all I can say, man. Stay blessed. Stay resilient. There are some federal workers who are going to homeless shelters to get food. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why. For the 30 days of pay that some people will be out, there's no real reason why they shouldn't be able to get a loan against it. This is so much bigger than any one person. Um, it, it is a little bit of pain, but it's going to be for the future of our country. And as the federal government continues to inflict this pain on its own citizens, all because of President Trump's demand for a border wall. Federal workers who are not being paid have begun holding protests across the country. With Democrats controlling the House, a funding deal compromise doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon. No checks will go out to those furloughed government workers, nearly a million of them. Other workers will not get back pay. And look at this tonight, demonstrations in Ogden, Utah, at Federal Plaza in Chicago, at the IRS building in Covington, Kentucky, and in Washington, D.C., across this country. And tonight, the Coast Guard is out with this memo, advice to its workers who are not getting paid, telling them to uh, be creative without their pay, have a garage sale, offer to watch children, walk pets, house sit, become a mystery shopper. ABC Steve Osinsami with workers across this country who say this isn't politics, this is their lives. Exactly. Mexico's going to pay for it. How? Because they're making a fortune. But how can you, how can you get Mexico to pay? It's called negotiation. Do you have any doubt that I will get them to pay for the wall? They will pay for the wall. The federal government remains shut down for one reason, and one reason only, because Democrats will not fund border security. The San Ysidro Port of Entry is now closed. Please exit in the proper manner to the nearest exit of immigration. Let's find out what's happening right now with lawmakers and these bills to reopen the government. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel is on Capitol Hill tonight. Good evening, Mike. Brett, good evening. Once there's an agreement, things move very quickly here on Capitol Hill. This bill has cleared the Senate, should pass the House very soon, and then be sent up to the president to sign to get furloughed feds back to work. When he said he would take responsibility for a shutdown. I will take the mantle. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. Pelosi says even without a deal, House Democrats will take action Thursday to end the shutdown when they take control of the House. We begin this morning with the reopening of the federal government. President Trump and Congress reached an agreement last night to end the 35-day partial government shutdown for at least three weeks. The deal provides a window until mid-February for negotiations on border security. It also means that more than three quarters of a million federal workers will get paid for the first time in more than a month. Nicole Killian is at the White House with the latest. Nicole, good morning. Good morning to you, Anthony. And late last night, President Trump signed that bill to reopen the federal government, but it doesn't include money for the border wall. And some Republicans are criticizing the move as a concession to Democrats. But in a tweet, the president denied he caved in. In a short while, I will sign a bill to open our government 
for three weeks until February 15th. I will make sure that all employees receive their back pay very quickly or as soon as possible. It'll happen fast. I am asking Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to put this proposal on the floor immediately. some twice. <laughs> this president said it was going to be conditional border security building that wall and he just reversed himself. That's a victory for Nancy Pelosi. It will be perceived as such on every television monitor uh, and screen in the country. And to deny it is to try to escape from reality. And that we ain't going to do here. The threat of another government shutdown remains. If we don't get a fair deal from Congress, the government will either shut down on February 15th again, or I will use the powers afforded to me under the laws and the Constitution of the United States to address this emergency. I think we have a chance, yeah. I think we have a good chance. We're going to work with the Democrats. We're going to see. Uh, and if we can't do that, then we'll do, uh, obviously, we're going to do the emergency, because that's what it is. It's a national emergency. Uh, these are Hispanic pastors and reverends and ministers, and they understand better than anybody. It's an emergency. It's a humanitarian emergency. Absolutely. And we are going to take care of our border. It's going to be done. And crime is going to go down throughout our whole country, not just at the border. And the border is the least of it. It's what comes in through the border and permeates throughout the whole country. And you're going to see drugs drop way down because a big percentage come in through the border. You will see drugs way down. You're going to see crime go way down. So we're going to do it, and we're doing well. And I really appreciate your being here. Thank you. Thank you all. For It was not a presidential tweet, but a text that lit up cell phones and social media today. It was the first test of the National Wireless Presidential Emergency Alert System. It was only a test. For the first time ever tomorrow, Americans nationwide will receive an alert on their cell phones from President Trump. But it won't be a personal message. It's the first test of a national presidential alert system that will let any president issue a warning about a crisis. That could include a missile launched by another country at the U.S. or a tsunami. Government is preparing for its first ever test of the National Emergency Alert System today. At 2.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a presidential alert will be sent to all cell phones all across the country. The alert is designed to issue a warning about a crisis. That could include anything from a missile launched by another country at the U.S. to a tsunami. So the alert worked, it but worked my phone him. is on silent. So, so is mine, and I haven't gotten the alert yet. Uh, what's interesting about this is the alerts actually it goes from FEMA. It actually goes to the cell towers, and the cell towers will start sending out the alert over and over for about a half hour uh, period of time until everyone who has their phone on gets it. Today's alert actually was a test of an alert that would be sent by the president to give advance warning of a national crisis like a terror attack or a missile about to hit the United States. It's similar to the local amber and weather alerts sent to mobile phones. Planning for the alert system began in 2006, but some people said their phones didn't go off. 12 minutes after the alert, we asked the Duncans. Did you get the alert? No. You didn't? What, kind, what service are you on? T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Officials say if you do ever see a real presidential alert, pay attention. FEMA's Antoine Johnson. Take those things very seriously when they come across your mobile device or it appears on radio and television. Uh, they're not the type of alerts uh, that should be ignored at any time. Uh, obviously, we're going to do the emergency because that's what it is. It's a national emergency.